How do we engage our students in Jewish texts? We know that often our students are bored, disengaged, and feel isolated from others who are more involved in learning. This is often due to a lack of skills, confidence, and motivation. One major step that we can take in remedying this situation is to allow each student to relate to the learning in their own individual way through differentiation. Technology gives us, gives us the tools to be able to provide each student with their own individual learning path. The instructor's role is to guide each student so that they are adequately challenged. It is crucial to make sure that the learning is at the optimal level of difficulty so that the students are not bored from work that is too easy or frustrated from work that is too difficult. We use a concept called app smashing to create this differentiated environment. App smashing is the process of using multiple apps in conjunction with one another to complete a final task or project. However, we have taken this idea to another level. We use app smashing to create a new approach to differentiate the learning. Bloom's revised taxonomy is the conceptual framework that we use for guiding the learning process. We take students from the simplest of cognitive tasks to most complex by giving them the tools that they need to help them develop their skills. Each tool or app is used to target a specific cognitive goal. The students are then able to advance to higher level thinking skills according to their individual needs. We use technology in a way that we call a cyborg classroom. Technology is used in a natural, unobtrusive way. The environment is learner driven and not technology driven. The technology is flexible and can be used in any learning configuration that fits the student's needs. The ultimate goal is for the students to create their own content. These skills acquired by using our technology are not inert, but are transferable to any learning situation that the students will find themselves in. They gain not simply skills, but the motivation and self-efficacy to become independent learners. All the apps we use or create are easily available on the App Store. Let us now see how this process works. The first step in Bloom's taxonomy is to remember. We start with the building blocks of textual learning, vocabulary, shorashim, and simple grammar. Students are given a choice of different learning paths using a variety of apps and approaches. Each differentiated path encourages the student to take ownership of their learning by providing constant feedback. It becomes the role of the instructor to become a guide by discerning the learning needs of each student and evaluate the appropriateness of the material based on their needs. Students are not afraid to make mistakes in our system. In fact, they understand that it is a part of the learning process. They are not judged based on immediate results, but internalize the idea that learning is a process that takes time. They are given the chance to master the learning according to their own pace. Students have a variety of apps to choose from to practice their basic vocabulary and language skills. The apps lend themselves to allowing the students to create their own study tools if they choose to do so. The tools are chosen based on the students' unique learning styles. Students can even create their own games, which solidify the material and increase motivation. In this Bloom stage of understand, students understand the nuance of meaning within words by seeing them in context. They create their own e-dictionary of all the words that they learn. They begin to realize that not every word can be translated literally by comparing the definition to the context. These dictionaries also include pictures and have multiple sort fe features using a unique app. This app allows the students to solidify the remember and understand phase by Lord practicing Nehu. with multiple modalities. And they against him. Students see and hear each word mitzvah. of the text at the same time. Our students have started to create their the own text sun. videos for their friends Today, to use. In order, students who do not have someone at home to, to practice together, with will be able to practice completely mitzvah. on their own until they are proficient in reading prayer. the text.
Venimsa mit Palil Bayom, and he is found to pray in the daytime. In our environment, students are encouraged to work together through app collaboration options and the structure of the environment. The atmosphere becomes one of camaraderie and positive achievement. If someone needs extra help, the instructor can be there to help since much of the learning can be done autonomously. The students apply their vocabulary knowledge by creating their own translations in context. The instructor sees each screen as they are working and can help guide them. The students can work collaboratively through the app as well. They start to analyze the text on their own. They eventually begin to ask the questions that Rashi and other commentators address. At this stage, students are starting to make the transition to higher order thinking. They create their own notes in the text to help guide them in their reading. For students who have still not mastered translating the text, this app can act as a scaffold to help them reach the next stage. eBackpack is more than just a learning management system. It has multiple uses as a learning tool. This app allows a student to submit work and receive immediate feedback. The work is then resubmitted after correcting mistakes. The instructor and student can create audio notes on the text itself. This feature not only fosters a personal relationship between teacher and student after hours, but also provides individualized coaching. As a side point, all of our technology has safeguards to prevent misuse. Our system enables a steady progression to higher order thinking skills. At this stage as well, students are encouraged to pursue individualized ways of expressing their ideas, which will all be saved in their ePortfolios. The students now analyze the text. The same page of text can be highlighted in multiple ways. Who is speaking, difficult words, question and answer, and so forth. Students need not worry about making a mistake, as with real highlighters, because there is an undo button and an eraser. Students can now express their interpretations of the text in various ways. By creating a speaker. Tefilad Hashahar. The Morning Prayer. Ad Hotzot. Until midday, Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Rabbi Yehuda says, Ad Arbashadot, until four hours. Or by creating a slideshow. Students now evaluate the text by finding the structure within it and creating an outline based on any number of criteria. In Tanakh, it can be an outline to the story with the various interpretations of the commentators. In Safaria, students pursue answers to their questions that they have asked about the text. They create a digital notebook with the answers that they find to their questions. Students continue to evaluate and create new ideas through discussion of the text on a discussion board. We have now reached the highest level of Bloom's taxonomy, creation. Students are given the option of presenting their ideas through a video submission or posting them on their student website. BookPress is an app that is used for publishing hard copies of the entire compendium of each student's ePortfolio. It is a combination of the written work of the students and QR codes. The QR codes, when scanned, show the students videos and other digital work so that the books are interactive.
Students in the end of the process have achieved skills and knowledge. However, most importantly, they have gained the motivation and ability to become independent learners.